Hi there, here we go. We are here doing a conversation about Oracle Cloud for Healthcare. I am Anasuya Strasner and I'm joined by the Dr. Sarah Matt. And we're really excited to talk to you about what is happening with Oracle for Healthcare. So we'll just jump right into it. And maybe you can, Sarah, just share a little bit about you and your role, and then we'll go with some questions. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Um, so actually I'm a surgeon by training. Um, but I moved into health IT really early in my career, and I've been working with product and strategy groups across the U.S. in particular, um, working through um, a variety of areas in applications and healthcare. And now I'm in OCI. So I work for um, you know, our platform and infrastructure business for healthcare and life sciences globally. Awesome. Well, it's great to have you here, and I'm excited to learn more about what we've been up to. So we'll, we'll start off with uh, the first question, which is, in this very ever-changing turbulent industry of healthcare, this topic of patient-centered care has really become top of mind, top of conversation. So maybe you can share a little bit about how our solutions enable patient-centered care. Absolutely. So with the ever-increasing demand on healthcare, often it causes our caregivers to lose sight of the people behind the conditions that they're treating. And this is why patient care is so important. So healthcare providers, payers, and pharma are adopting Oracle Cloud to improve clinical, operational, and financial outcomes. Um, by bringing together their disparate data, combining EMR, public information, claims data, operational data together, this results in better business outcomes, better supported providers, and better evidence-based approaches. With a complete platform of AI, ML, NLP, and the best in advanced analytics, OCI really drives performance. We deliver critical insights and we fuel innovation. So all these capabilities are part of the same cloud, available in cloud regions around the world or in flexible hybrid cloud configurations, wherever you need them. So patients today, they really expect a consumer grade experience and Oracle's customer experience for healthcare delivers a personalized experience with communications when and where your patients want them. So your patients are really your most valuable customers. And this ensures your organization takes a coordinated approach to their experience within the healthcare setting. Additionally, it allows a practice to really deliver those personalized services in the channels that the patient chooses, whether that's digital or physical. And it results in faster resolution of their really important questions and problems and automation of patient outreach. Provider retention is another really interesting topic right now in the US especially, and engagement remains top of mind. The provider workforce is aging and we see shortages in nursing staff all over the United States. And Oracle's human capital management for healthcare it helps customers create an employee experience that reflects their values and helps clinical and non-clinical staff grow in their careers. So they can stay ahead of emerging workforce needs, recruitment, retaining the best candidates for every opportunity, and really improving clinician satisfaction at every stage of their careers. A great example here is Kaiser Permanente. Um, they partnered with Oracle to modernize their business processes, and they were able to deliver intuitive employee experiences and simplify their complex HR processes and meet the health and safety needs of over 220,000 employees in their workforce. It's incredible to hear that. And I think more than anything, you know, as a lay person, this whole topic of patient-centered healthcare means more. And when we think about the last two years, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've used the app on my phone to do a FaceTime where I can figure out what I need to do so I don't have to go into a doctor's office. So it really means something in a more tangible way, I think maybe than ever before. So maybe just thinking about this whole topic of the industry of healthcare, I think we would agree that the lines are blurring between healthcare and life sciences. And it'd be great to just get your feedback on how do we as a company approach that? And what does that mean when we think about the lines blurring between healthcare and life sciences? So at Oracle, we really consider healthcare and life sciences as part of the same integrated ecosystem. So providing the best solutions to bring the bench to the bedside as quickly and safely as possible has really been a cornerstone of how we approached COVID-19 and prior health emergencies. So with the importance of decentralized clinical trials in particular, Oracle focuses on providing tools and solutions for unifying data, as well as streamlining and automating safety case management. Um, really what we do is we help with clinical trial data collection, streamlining randomization and trial supply management, and allowing organizations to drastically reduce the time off their initial study build and ongoing mid-study changes. Oracle is automatically reconciling their data and maintaining complete traceability with one source for their clinical trial data. You know, drug safety, critical area, especially with all the vaccine work that's been going on over the last couple of years, 
And it's where healthcare and life sciences really intersect. We use AI to power digital case intake, and that reduces processing time by up to 50% and improves accuracy and compliance. Oracle also automates safety case management, and that relieves organizations from the pressures of growing caseloads while maintaining compliance with global standards and regulations. We help organizations confidently detect and analyze and manage safety signals through automated signal detection and with proven algorithms developed by world-class statisticians and data scientists. But one of the greatest examples here is our vSafe mobile application. It's one of, I'd say one of the key areas in the last couple of years that showed an example of Oracle's ability to innovate and deliver really quickly. Uh, the vaccine safety app was built for COVID-19 and offers a model for people-friendly health data collection. And clinical trial operators, they needed a new way to conduct studies, decentralized studies, by tapping into telemed, digitized source data, and electronic consent forms. And this is one of the biggest examples of a revolution in health science, which required a massive effort to collect real-world data to monitor the safety and efficacy of the vaccines being studies and brought to market. So vSafe, after vaccination, Health Checker was created by Oracle developers for the CDC. And using Oracle Apex low-code development tools, Oracle Analytics, and OCI. Another example I'd like to share is when we partnered with the Tony Blair Institute for Vaccine Management in Africa. Even before COVID-19, multiple African governments had implemented a variety of programs for health checks, testing, and public awareness. And this was originally developed back in 2014 during the Ebola pandemic. Now it's a cloud-based system developed by Oracle and implemented in a philanthropic collaboration with the Tony Blair Institute for Global Change. And it's helping several African countries speed up data collection and vaccine administration programs to better monitor and combat a variety of diseases. Um, not just COVID, this is for yellow fever, HPV, polio, and measles. And the program oversaw the vaccination of over 75,000 people just within the first 10 days of use. It's just incredible. And again, back to just relatability for everyone. You know, I think I probably never spent any time in my lifetime outside of the last two years kind of understanding like vaccine stats and vaccine efficacy and what is happening. So it's incredibly relevant to what is happening in our world and our market today. I'd love to switch a little bit and think about there's this, we talked about this concept of patient-centered care. It's also, there's sort of a complicated web of patients, providers, payers. How do we address these, these solutions holistically in the concept of healthcare? Well, you know, Oracle has a long history in healthcare and a significant global presence across payers, providers, and pharma. And this includes, we'll say, full spectrum of provider organizations. So everything from primary care and academic medical centers that are deeply in tune with clinical trials to specialty care, and we have over 11,000 customers worldwide. And so, you know, this is a really highly regulated industry and Oracle has specific solutions for these segments to help them with end-to-end -end solutioning, ranging from back office operations, industry specific apps like claims processing or our healthcare data, our healthcare data lake house, um, revenue and billing as well as tools for medical research like we discussed earlier. You know, Oracle technology is critical in healthcare and it's used to address interoperability, big data, advanced analytics, and even data security needs. Um, I have a couple of good examples. Press for DTX. They're a digital therapeutic that improves the quality of care and delivers better outcomes across integrated health networks. So let's hear directly from them on how they reduced development time for migrating data and developing machine learning models from months to weeks using OCI. I'm Bob Goldberg. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Prosper DTX. We provide digital healthcare plans for patients with cancer. We collect the data that they need to make a treatment decision and to figure out what they want out of their care. And then we move forward with predictive care plans to avoid hospitalization. Our goal is to provide everyone with cancer better care, better health, and better life. In terms of our relationship with Oracle, I would say there's three things that are important. First, cloud is not just a place to migrate data. It's a platform for us to create our product, to iterate product development, and migrate and analyze massive amount of data, which is sort of the heart and soul of what we're doing. We need to analyze that data to provide these beautiful visualizations for patients, but we also need it to help create those roadmaps that mean so much to what we're doing and what patients are seeking. It's allowed us to scale up as a startup. We thought it was gonna take us months. It's taken us weeks, which is really amazing. It's not only um, saved us time, but it's also saved us money. 
You know, in terms of a dollar amount, I would say the first six months, we thought we were gonna spend a lot of money. And because of the time and, and effort that we've saved, it's translated into probably $100,000 in savings for us. I would say that all of that is not just from the technology, it's the service. It's the fact that the Oracle Cloud team are partners in our endeavor. They embrace our mission. And we're moving forward, not just because of them, but we're moving forward together. And for a company that is in the business of trying to turn digital information into treatment steps and continuous care, especially at a time of COVID, it's great for us as a business, but most importantly, it's critical to the patients that we care about and the lives that we hope to enrich and save. What an incredible video. And it just, it's, you know, we talked a little bit about this in terms of just this blurring also of, we think of, you know, adding the tech next to the industry. So it's like healthcare tech and having these apps and having the ability to embrace technology to provide healthcare in a variety of different channels and ways. And it's a great example to see with Prosper what they, what's possible in this universe within healthcare. So I'd love to just get some feedback from you in terms of the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning. How does that play into our approach? Our customers have been enjoying the benefits of AI and ML automatically as embedded features in our applications and healthcare solutions. And data scientists are able to use our data science services to build new or extend existing data models. Developers are able to leverage API-driven cloud-native AI services, everything from language and vision, NLP, ML, and anomaly detection, to use them directly with our own applications. The depth of industry data available to us based on more than 80 Oracle applications built in-house really allows Oracle to leverage that data to build pre-trained AI services that are easy, plug and play, and embedded in our healthcare solutions. Um, a story I'll share with you is about Northwell Health. They're an integrated healthcare network in New York State, and they're, they're also their largest healthcare provider and private employer. And back in March 2020, the number of COVID-19 cases in New York was growing at an alarming rate. With no effective vaccines and no known treatments yet available, Northwell's 27 New York hospitals were in danger of becoming completely overwhelmed with an influx of infected patients. So that organization needed a way to monitor available nursing resources to predict upcoming staffing needs and accommodate a continually shifting patient load during the pandemic. Northwell also had to expedite the onboarding validation process for almost 700 temporary employees to deal with the influx. So they used Oracle Analytics to rationalize and display their staff scheduling data and patient census information from dozens of hospitals. And they used an Oracle HR dashboard to help their CNOs and HR leaders stay abreast of patient inflows, staff recruitment, and staffing resource requirements. This is especially critical for critical care nursing and respiratory therapy that are required for each shift. So the solution not only provided a single source of truth for visualizing real-time staffing information, but the automation also freed up multiple full-time employees for manual spreadsheet maintenance so they could be reallocated to more important activities. It's so incredible to see what's possible and the incredible amount of innovation that's constantly going on in this broader umbrella of healthcare. And so, you know, the other thing I think sometimes is a lens that maybe not everyone thinks about is just how do our healthcare apps and the net new applications kind of interact and deal with the traditional applications? You know, you have many healthcare institutions that don't just get to start from scratch. They have a legacy of, of technology and an environment that they need to work around. We can, maybe you can share a little bit of feedback around that piece. And then also what type of co-innovation and co-collaboration do we have with our customers as it relates to healthcare? Well, as you said, it's all about the data and healthcare organizations have disparate data across structured, unstructured, intelligent device sources. And whether it's on-prem in the cloud or in a SaaS model, traditional applications typically take their data and store it in some sort of structured database. However, many disparate types of data exist in healthcare, such as paper forms, OT data, PACS and DICOM, data from other sources like clinics, labs, and external EMR systems. And so Oracle provides a common platform for all this data through its data lakehouse solutions. Healthcare organizations can use Oracle's out-of-the-box tools that are easily accessible to developers, such as language for transforming paper forms from a, a mobile clinic for the homeless or usable digital information. 
um, and speech to take patient calls and convert them into digital text or NLP to automatically perform data prep and sentiment analysis. By extending the reach of the data available for analysis, this data can now be merged with the data from those traditional applications to drive greater insight and transform existing data models or to build completely new models. One of the stories I'd like to share with you is around Children's Medical Research Institute. They're a premier Australian medical and biological research institute and registered charity in Sydney, Australia. And the organization's experiments produce several terabytes of data. And I, it needed to analyze data from genomic sequencing, proteomics, high resolution images from microscopy and simulations. And the Institute wanted to optimize its processes to improve performance, facilitate seamless, seamless collaboration between its researchers and to make the most out of its data. As a result, they began combining the functionality of bioinformatics applications across the Institute into one system to better enable and empower researchers to deliver faster and more accessible information. So OCI has been able to help the Institute take advantage of big data and machine learning capabilities. It's made data available much faster to the people who need it. And a typical, typical simulation, which used to take them 30 days, actually now performs in only five. So it's, it's so incredible to hear about all the different lenses and approaches around the entire ecosystem of healthcare, whether it's around co-collaboration and co-development, to helping our customers, our healthcare customers and the payers and providers and the consumers that they serve. And I say consumers because of the consumerization of healthcare and, and really thinking about how Oracle can play a huge role in co-developing with those partners and our customers. Uh, I'm just gonna ask you a wild card question, Dr. Sarah Matt. What do you, you, you're a surgeon by trade. What makes you the most excited, the most passionate about being here at Oracle during this time? So part of the reason I came to Oracle is really the startup nature, but within such a much larger organization. OCI is innovative, agile, and they're moving at the speed of light. We've done so much in just the last couple of years and have only scratched the surface in healthcare and life sciences globally. So I'm really here because I think that we can make some really huge changes in technology, in outcomes, and be able to change the healthcare system for the better in ways that other organizations just can't do. So thank you so much. I know that we collectively are excited to see the impact and the change that you are going to be a part of driving for this organization and for the customers that we serve. So thank you, Dr. Sarah Matt, for joining us today. And with that, we'll call it a wrap. Thanks so much.